While Purdue's quarterback competition is just getting underway, so is the 2015 Colt World Series. Day one starting with a mixture of close games and plenty of offense, but tonight's main event, a little bit of everything. The Lafayette All-Stars scoring off against Mexico. Check out the team spirit there. McCutcheon's own Jackson Smeltz on the bump for the All-Stars. And the first, it's the All-Stars that have them loaded for Paul Siciliano and the West Lafayette Red Devil cracks one to third. New Mexico unable to make the tag at third for the force out, but Justin Walker scores on the play. It's 1-0 All-Stars. We stay in the first. This time, Mexico commits a self-inflicted wound with the pass ball. Max Hanna scores, crosses home safely, make it 2-0 All-Stars. But from that point forward, their bats go quiet. However, as for Mexico, third in the third with the runner on third, Smeltz gives up the RBI single to Carlos Alberto Aramburo Lopez. This game currently in the seventh with the Lafayette All-Stars rallying to retake the lead 6-3. to three. Earlier in the day, Greensboro, North Carolina getting pumped to face Hoosier North, and they're also ready to roll. Both teams exchanging pleasantries prior to first pitch. In the first, Greensboro draws first blood. Patrick Callahan rips the pitch to left. Camden Williams scores on the play. No sign of jet lag for this team from North Carolina. They take a... 3-0 lead after the top of the first, but Hoosier North would respond. In the home half of the first, Dawson skis, slices one single up the middle. One run scores, but the other is out at the plate. Props to Greenboro's center fielder on the assist there. Still in the first, bases loaded for Peyton Williams. And he gets the hit by Jacob Brown. Gets hit by the Jacob Brown pitch, I should say. That cuts the deficit to 3-2. This one back and forth the whole way. Hoosier North wins in a thriller, 10-9 the final. Next up four-time defending champ Los Gatos, California.